Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. In this video, I will demonstrate the first capacitance touch sensor circuit that I uploaded in my website. The method that I'm about to follow is called frequency change. In case that you want to learn more about this method, I suggest that you read the theory page in my website. Instead of an analog circuit, I decided to make one with a peak microcontroller for two reasons. First of all, this circuit is easier for prototyping, very compact and needs only a few external components, making it ideal for applications where space is critical. So it's more practical but not so educative though. The other reason is that I'm still waiting for a shipping to arrive with some components that I need to make the analog sensor. So I began somewhat backwards. To the circuit now. This simple circuit performs the capacitance touch sensor using the frequency change method. This 12F615 peak has an internal comparator module. This module is software and hardware wired to operate as a relaxation oscillator, the frequency of which is controlled by an external RC network. This resistor is the R component of this network. The C component is the touchpad itself. The touchpad is made in a way that it adds a small capacitance to the circuit. I use a double-sided 10 by 10 mm board for the sensor. One side of the board is the touchpad itself and the other is connected to the ground. The oscillating frequency of the relaxation oscillator is critical. It should not be more than 100 kHz. I explain the reasons in the corresponding page of my website. Upon startup, the circuit resets itself and reads the oscillating frequency. This way, it always knows the frequency of the sensor when it's not touched. When the electrode is touched, the body capacitance is added to the touchpad's capacitance, and the frequency of the relaxation oscillator is lowered. The peak runs a loop during which it reads the current frequency and compares it with the original frequency. If the difference is above a threshold level, then this change is translated as a touch. I have two different threshold levels, one for high sensitivity and one for low. The sensitivity is hardware selectable through this pin. This circuit can operate as a momentary push button and as a toggle switch as well. The operation selection is also hardware selectable through another pin. This way, you can configure your peak to operate as a high or low sensitivity sensor with momentary or toggle switch output without knowing anything about peak programming. You only need to upload the hex file to your peak and start playing. The circuit can operate as a proximity sensor as well. For this reason, we will need a larger touchpad. But this time, the touchpad will not have a grounded layer because it would create a large capacitance and the body capacitance would not have a great influence on the frequency. Therefore, I added a small 10 picofarad ceramic capacitor. This ensures that the circuit will have a stable oscillation. Then, I connected a large touchpad to the positive side of the capacitor. A piece of aluminum foil, for example, is one solution. Don't forget to drive the circuit to high sensitivity as well. Watch now what happens. The LED turns on whenever I approach the electrode. I do not need to physically touch the electrode. The circuit is so sensitive that it can sense my hand from more than 10 cm away. This is one of the features that I really like in capacitance touch sensors. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit my website for more interesting circuits.